Problem number 46. Find all solutions to the following equation. So we have e to the 2x minus 5e e to the x minus 36, and that's equal to 0. All right, good stuff. So this should factor, and if it does, it's going to look like this. So e to the x, parentheses, e to the x, parentheses, and equal to 0. And the reason I know that is because if you multiply e to the x times e to the x, look what happens. You get e to the x times e to the x, and you add the exponents, right? So you get x plus x, right? Because the bases are the same. And so you just get 2x. And that's exactly what's here. All right, so now we just need two numbers. Let's see, that multiply to 36, or to negative 36, and add to negative 5. So 9 and 5... 9 and 4, rather, sorry, 9 and 4 multiply to 36. And I think this one has to be negative because that way when you add them, you get negative 5, right? So negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. Yep. So you have a product equal to 0. So now you set each factor equal to 0. So you set that equal to 0. And then you set this other piece here equal to 0. Here on this case, on the left, you add the 9. So you get e to the x equals 9. Then over here you subtract the 4, and you get e to the x equals negative 4. Well, this is no good, right? e to the x is never negative. If you think about the graph of e to the x, it's always above the x-axis, right? So it's always positive numbers. So you can never have like e to the x equal to a negative. It doesn't make any sense at all, right? So fails. So we just have to solve this equation here. So whenever you have um, a variable in an exponent like this and you have an e, what you can do is you can take the natural log of both sides. And what happens is that this is a formula, ln e to the x, that's always just x. It's kind of like these cancel and you're just left with x. So x is equal to the natural log of 9. And that is it, right? That's the final answer. That's all we had to do was solve for x. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.